So today, we're gonna be checking my wheel bearings, and I'm gonna go ahead and take off the wheel and uh, weigh it for you guys, um, just so you can see how much this offset really affects the wheel bearings. So first, we're gonna go ahead and lift up the car, and I'll, uh, we'll check the wheel bearings real quick. Now that we have the car jacked up, um, since this is the front wheel and there's going to be play side to side from the steering, we can go ahead and test it by going up and down. And as you can see, there is no play whatsoever. So for as long as I've had these wheels, it hasn't affected these wheel bearings at all. We're going to go ahead and take these wheels off and uh, weigh them just to show that, you know, even a big offset and how for how much these wheels weigh that it, it really isn't affecting the wheel bearings all that much. Um, and then here's a look at the back side. I mean, it shows that there's really not a whole lot of lip on the other side of the wheel. All right, you can see here by shaking it up and down that there's very, very little play at all, which is normal. Um, so that's good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and weigh this wheel. Fifty-two point one pounds. That's a lot of weight. So some of you guys are probably gonna ask why I have my fender flares off. It's because I'm about to get uh, some custom front lower control arms that are extended, and upper rear control arms that are shortened. Uh, to give me more camber, and uh, obviously with more camber, my fender flares aren't going to fit, you know, quite as well. Um, and so now after I do that, I'm going to be making my, you know, final fender flares. Um, and they're going to be more of over fenders, um, but I'm going to be doing a video on those. Um, so yeah. If you're about that JDM Brab Brab Doge VTech life, Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button.